welcome back to my channel. My name is Hope and this is Mission Keto. And today's video is a what we eat in a day video. And I'm gonna try to do something a little different and have Andy share his meals with you so you guys can get a little more of your Andy fix. <laughs> Bully. Bully. But anyways, um, so I wanted to jump on real quick and say, hey, if you didn't see on all of the socials, we have some big news. We have our own website. I keep looking at Andy because <laughs> he's sitting on the couch watching me, but we have our own website now. Woohoo! Um, thanks to Andy, put the whole thing together and it took him quite a few hours to get this done too, <laughs> didn't it? It's a, it's a tedious job, but he did a great job, I think. Um, so far, everybody, you guys, had, we've had a lot of visitors to it, so thank you. But what we thought would be a great idea was having everything in one spot. We're kind of like the Walmart of Mission Keto, where everything is at the website. So all of the discount codes that we have for you guys to save some money, um, they're all located on the website. The Amazon storefront where I put the different things that we purchase and try out, um, if you're interested in. Um, like the air fryer, the cookbooks that I've tried, all of that is on there also. Um, it has access to both of our YouTube channels. If you um, are not subscribed, make sure you go subscribe to both of those. And what else? Oh, just a little bit of backstory about us. Um, I did have a question of somebody asking if we were going to have recipes on there. And yes, I don't have a lot of recipes. I have a few, but eventually we will have a tab for that too. I've just got to get all of that together. Um, but one of you has mentioned me and said that you did use, go onto the website, click on the element link, and you were able to order from that with no problem. So that's kind of, we just want it to be easy. Instead of you having to scroll through the description box and try to find what you're looking for, we think it'll be much easier this way. So make sure you stop by, check it out. There's also a contact me page there. So you can email us if you have a question about something, we can definitely help. Oh, and our merch is on there too, the link for our merch. So, um, but yeah, we we're pretty excited about that. Um, but today, anyway, so, I just wanted to do my little intro and let you guys know about that. Now let's get into our, what we eat in a day. Okay, everybody. So this is going to be my first meal of the day. One of two. I'm going to have probably two. I won't, yeah, I definitely won't have three. I'll make the third one though. So I can have it later today or just maybe tomorrow, but have it some T-bones. So yeah, Hope's bullying me today and saying that I had to fill my own portion of my, what I can eat today. So here it is, guys. <laughs> you bully. Just kidding. All right, so that's what I'm going to have. That's going to be my first meal of the day. All right, that is the goodness that I'm about to eat. That is correct. A couple of T-bones that look amazing. You're a natural. That's right. This air fryer is amazing. Cooks them pretty well, I must say. Good stuff. All right. Back to Hope. Hello. I'd like to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, Element. Element has been a longtime supporter of our channel, and I just want to say thank you so much to Element. Um, if you don't know what they are, they are an electrolyte drink mix that has nothing bad in it. All good ingredients. It's clean sweetened with stevia, very low carb, keto friendly, and it is good for anyone and everyone. If you breathe, you probably need to replenish electrolytes. Um, so I'm very excited that they do offer a special deal for my subscribers. Um, if you click on the link down below, it is drinklmnt.com slash Mission Keto. With any purchase that you make on their website, they will give you a free sample pack just like this. It has eight of their flavors in it for you to try, for you to hand out, to give to other people. Maybe other people you know have been wanting to try it. But I have a question for you. What is your favorite flavor and why? I was thinking about it today and I was like, I'm going to tell them my favorite flavor is this. And then I stopped and I said, wait, but I really like this flavor. I really like this one. I love them all. Andy's favorite is orange. And then his second favorite would probably be citrus. Um, 
I have different flavors that I love for different things. Like I love the chocolate salt in my iced coffee. So that's a favorite. I love the unflavored raw one for working out. I don't wanna have like the sweetness of uh, the other flavors when I'm working out. So I love that. And then when it comes to just what I'm drinking during the day, grapefruit and mango chili are my absolute favorite. So I like them all really. I love them all, but I've just found it funny. I was like, I have a lot of favorites. So it made me think, what are some of your favorites? What is, do you have a ride or die that you've gotta have in stock all the time? Um, just curious about that and what do you do with them that is maybe a little different that you wouldn't think? Do you put it in hot water maybe or do you, you know, use it for cooking? Give us your tips and everything down below because I'm always looking for new things to do with them. I just love them. Um, but again, if you go to that link, it is drinklmnt.com slash mission keto for any purchase that you make on their website you will get a free sample pack that has all eight of their flavors. Side note too, I got an email this morning. Today is Tuesday. Um, lemon habanero is going out of stock. It's only one more week. So if that is one of your favorites, I would jump on, use that link down below, <laughs> stock up on that lemon habanero before it's gone for good and you'll get a free sample pack. So Thanks again, Element, for sponsoring today's video. And thank you to my subscribers for uh, clicking on that link and using it. It really helps my channel out and I just appreciate you so much. Andy does too. Thanks so much. Let's get into the video. Okay, it is dinner time tonight and I am going to make a, I was originally going to make a Greek salad with like the Greek flavors, chicken, grilled chicken on top. And I'm not feeling the salad thing, which is so weird. Normally I love salad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grill this chicken uh, in my air fryer. So I'm preheating it now. And then all of the things I was gonna put in the salad on a bed of lettuce, I'm just going to make like a, you've seen me make like my pasta less, no pasta salad before. It's just gonna kind of be like that, but no lettuce and there's gonna be a few things out. Like I did not have Kalamata olives. That would be something good to add, but you could do black olives or even green olives. Nancy, I know that you love Nancy um, in, um, that was at the meetup. She loves olives, don't you girl? Just kidding, she really doesn't, she hates them. Um, but I'm gonna put all of these things together in a bowl with some of the feta cheese, dice up some onion. I have some cherry-like tomatoes here and we're gonna make our own little dressing for it also. Um, and then we'll just have, this will be the side dish. So we're still gonna have all of the Greek flavors that we're having, um, but the chicken here, that's the next thing. So I've had this marinating. It's just one chicken breast that I cut in half. I will insert a clip next while this is, um, grilling in my air fryer, I'll show you how I made the marinade for the chicken. All right, so I am filming this at lunchtime, but you're gonna be seeing it closer to dinner, but I'm going to be putting together like a marinade for the chicken, for the Greek chicken salad that I'm gonna be making. And I'm just throwing this together, just using flavors that we know are, you know, from the Greek flavors, I don't know. I'm not using all of that chicken. I don't need it all. I'll probably be um, food freezer, I'm putting the rest of that in the freezer. But um, true to my form, I'm cutting off all of the icky pieces because, yeah, one of the main reasons I don't like a lot of meat is because of the chewy, gristly pieces. But these chicken breasts are very, very thick too. So I am going to cut this in half. Okay. And then we're gonna have two pieces because I figure I'll probably have two different salads this week. Um, let me rinse my hands. And then this marinade, I'm just winging it. Okay, so. But I'm, I don't know, this just sounded really good to me. And there might not even be a lot of lettuce going on here either. Um, I have some Greek yogurt. What's really funny about this Greek yogurt is um, <laughs> it's vanilla flavored. It's the only kind I have. So <laughs> we're just going to go with it. I don't know 
how strong vanilla it is. Well, maybe a little, but I think all of the other flavors that we're gonna be using in this salad is going to overpower it. So it's not gonna be that bad. We, we can make this work. So you need, I don't know, a quarter of a cup, a little more than a quarter of a cup. We want some lemon juice. I'm just gonna put all of that in there. We need some oil. This is avocado oil. Yeah, it probably a good quarter of a cup too. Look, I even got a measuring cup out and I'm not even using it. Way to go. Let me get another spoon here. Garlic, gosh, you know, you can never have too much. I love garlic. Oh, that smells so good. Some oregano. Another thing that you just, I mean, it's gonna be sitting in there, absorbing all these flavors, so. And then some salt and pepper. And this is just for the marinade. I'm gonna use my new whisk. Now, if you watched my What I Eat in a Day last week, I made some, or it was my recipe video. I made something and I was like, I don't have a whisk. That's okay. I need a real, I wanted a small whisk. I said, I want a small whisk. Well, when we went to our meetup this past weekend and we saw Nancy, Nancy handed me a package of two of these cute little whisks. How funny is that? How sweet is she also that she, you guys are paying attention. I tell you what, you're paying attention, but um, thank you, Nancy. I love it. And look, it's perfect. You just need a little one sometimes to do mixtures like this. And you can kind of see, you're just going to mix this up and you could taste it if you want, but a lot of times you don't really reuse your marinade, right? You just kind of have your meat sticking in there from the fridge for a little while and then we dump it. So, um, but I do want to say that meetup that we went to was so much fun. If you haven't seen the pictures from it, um, if you go to the community tab on YouTube, on our homepage, there is there are a few pictures. We we really met some amazing people, saw some old friends, made some new ones, and it was just such a nice time. So if you have the opportunity to meet up in the area with other, you know, keto carnivore people, I definitely recommend going because we have the most fun then. When we went to the Keto Orlando Summit, we had more fun visiting with people than doing the seminar parts of it. But no offense, I know there's a lot of work involved in that, but. Okay, so now we're just gonna stick the chicken pieces in there, cover them up. And I probably have a little bit more than what's needed for two, you know, pieces, but that's okay. All right, so it's in there pretty good. So this is gonna get a lot of flavor in it. We're gonna stick this in the fridge and then I will see you when we are ready to make it. Okay, so as you can see, I have um, put a little bit of everything in here. I've got a little bit of the artichoke hearts that I chopped up, a few of the hearts of palm. This is probably something that resembles pasta so much for me. So I love putting it in my pasta-less salad. Um, I put some garbanzo beans in here, chickpeas. I've got the rest of them over here in the bowl draining. Um, chopped up some onion, had a little bit of cherry tomatoes, and then this feta cheese. You could also use like the small mozzarella balls too. I have some of those and I almost put those in here, but maybe I will do that next time since I have some leftover items. I can make this again. This will probably feed me twice. This I'm more excited about than the chicken. Um, the chicken is in here and as you saw how I made that, I have two pieces. I cut it in half because it was such a big chicken breast that I'm going to have it for two meals. So. This is perfect. So what I'm gonna do for the little bit of a dressing that I'm gonna make is I'm going to incorporate the same things that I put in the marinade minus the yogurt. So we are gonna put a little bit of avocado oil in there, a little bit of this lemon juice, 
you could use a fresh lemon also. And this will just be to taste. Less is more at the beginning. Don't put as much because you always want to be able to add to it. You can't take away. And then we'll do a little bit of the oregano too. And then I'll taste this real quick after I stir it up. And that just gives it a little bit of, um, makes it not dry, you know, not really a major big dressing, but oh, this looks, this looks so delicious to me. It is missing black olives though, or the Kalamata olives, those Greek ones. So, you know, definitely if you're going to make something like this, put it together. Um, you could even add pepperoni, salami, things like that if you wanted as well. It, you know, it, it's like, that's what's so fun about these kinds of recipes is you can kind of make what you have in your fridge too. And that's what I'm excited about is I just kind of threw some stuff together. I had an idea and I went with it. So let me try this, make sure the seasoning and the dressing is good. Mm. That's actually perfect. <laughs> the, I, wow, I did good, I did good. So let's wait for this chicken to um, finish up and then I will plate it and show you my dinner for tonight. All right, so the chicken is out. This is the smaller of the two pieces, but doesn't that look delicious? My little Greek inspired dinner tonight, Greek flavors. Um, I've got the marinated chicken that I had marinating since lunchtime and then my faux pasta salad, but made a little bit differently than I normally do. Um, and I added the chickpeas, which Oh, I could eat a whole can of those by myself. I don't know about you, but delicious. So I'm pretty excited about it. I already took a picture this time beforehand, so I don't have to stop it, okay? But let's take a bite. I already know that the that the um, salad is good, but let's try this chicken. I have not done anything creative like this in a while. This is creative for me. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> that yogurt really gives it a little tartness, tanginess on that marinade and it's gone through. Like the flavors have gone through and it doesn't have any vanilla flavor. So if you only have vanilla Greek yogurt, <laughs> you can use that as your marinade. Um, it was, it was delicious. I don't taste it at all, but that was very good. I think what I'm going to do with the other piece is make it and put it on a salad. I think all of those things that without the dressing, I did put all of it away. The rest of the stuff that was in the cans, I put those um, already in the fridge and they don't have the dressing or anything on them. So I think I'm going to throw those toss it with some lettuce and have a salad and put the grilled chicken on top because I think that'll be delicious too. Just today I didn't feel like doing all of that, but this is delicious. Let me know if this is something that you would try. Um, but yeah, I do think that the black olives would be a great addition to that, but that is what is for dinner tonight. And then uh, Andy still hasn't eaten. He's not quite hungry yet, but as soon as he is ready to eat, he will grab the phone and he will be a part of that and <laughs> telling you what he's gonna have for dinner. <laughs> All right, it's dinner time. So I'm having another T-bone. There was three in the pack. You guys saw the what I had this morning. And I made two burgers as well, just in case the T-bone's not enough. I was gonna have some steaks, but the steaks are uh, still not thawed. So I will have those tomorrow, plenty of salt and some water. So that is it, everybody, on what we eat in a day. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also check out our new website. Don't forget, realmissionketo.com. We'll post it down below. And we hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. Take care.